Hey, Betty Bash. It is still the 15th of March, and man, is it just pouring out today. But I just wanted to show you this, you know, end of the day news break here. And I see about this plane in Russia it drops a bunch of gold and silver and all kinds of stuff out on a runway. Right? <laughs> so I start, I'm looking around and I see that they put a price tag on it. And as soon as I see the price tag, I see 17 and a 911. It's just what I see. That's, that's all. And it was posted at 1101. But it didn't stop there. There was a couple other things that, um, that I saw. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, 17s are everywhere too, but. Anyway, it's in here, I think. Oh, no. I know where I got it. Right here. This is the plane that it fell out of, right? The first thing I thought of when I saw this, right, was like, oh, yeah, here we go. These Russian billionaires are gathering all their treasure and zipping it off to their bunkers or whatever, right? You know, I just talking about Denver a little while ago. and So that came to my mind. But when I was looking at this image... I see it's this clunky old junker looks like, right? And you look at the numbers of the plane. 11130. 11130, right? I said, okay, you got my attention. And I keep reading the article. And then I see that these aren't like refined gold. These aren't like you know, the type of gold that you see here, like in Fort Knox or whatever. These are actual Dore bars, which means they are unrefined. They have not seen the refiner's fire. You see where I'm going with this? Look at this. 21.6 rubles, right? Nine, but $380 million. And uh, so, yeah, unrefined. Have not seen the refiner's fire yet. And they were flying out on plane number 11130. Unbelievable. The refiner's fire, people. That's that's kind of the message I get from this. We can go back to Malachi 3.3, 3, of course. And we can go to First Peter, which I thought was just uh, more fitting, you know. First Peter 1 7, there's just 17 again. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. I think it's just telling us, make sure we are refined. <laughs> so let's keep praying up and certainly keep looking up. Because the time is upon us. These people, you know, they think they've uh, built up their treasures here in, in Earth, right? Well, you know, it's unrefined and it'll get them nowhere. You know what I'm saying? This, this also reminds me of uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 7. Ezekiel 7, where is it? 719, which, uh, if you add that up, that's a 17 as well. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels. The gold fell out of the belly of the plain, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty. But they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them. Interesting stuff, folks. Very interesting. Oh boy, I think this is really, uh, once again, just a, a culmination. I mean, Ezekiel 7, that talks about the wrath coming down on Israel. They'll throw their gold in the streets. It will not fill their belly. 
and it fell out of the belly of this plane 11130. Okay. I guess uh, I'll just leave you with that to kind of chew on. Time is short, folks. Time is short. Seek Jesus diligently. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 